Hi guys, so this is my third edition to Ask Babs and I found a little cozy spot on my couch right here in the living room to just set up shop to answer your questions because sometimes it's just too much of a chore to do it from that other side of the um, counter in the kitchen because all the time there's somebody coming down that hallway to mess up my recording. But anyways, let's get right into it. I don't have a lot of questions but I really appreciate um, the few of you who have asked questions and I know it'll grow as we go along. And just uh, for the people who are looking at this video that don't know what it is, it's just a time that I set aside once a month, like in the middle of the month, to just answer your questions. It could be about cooking stuff, it could be personal. The only things that I won't answer is anything the kids ask me not to say about them. But other than that, anything else is free game, you can ask me, all right? Let's get right into it. Fitanj, which is Angie in Australia. I met Angie through YouTube, and I really plan to meet her in person one of these days. Let me say hi to Maddie. Maddie's her daughter. And I always say hi to Maddie when I'm doing my, um, my shows because she's one of my little avid watchers along with Angie. So Angie says, what is your most prized childhood moment growing up that was taught to you by your parents and you have installed in your kids? I don't know about a specific moment. You know, my childhood was pretty good in Belize. I left Belize when I was 15. And, and of course, you know, that, that was a different time. I grew up in the 70s and, um, you know, grandparents really played a role in your life. My grandmother, which is my um, mom's mom, she lived with her two, well, her two sisters lived with her. And they definitely instilled a lot in us and they instilled a lot in my mom. And they instilled a lot directly into me because a lot of the summers were just spent with my grandma. And basically, I would say the thing that they taught me the most that have really helped me in life and the thing that I've passed down to my kids is about staying humble, staying humble and grateful. And not that fake humility that you see nowadays. People and kids have a lot of fake humility. They know the right words to say, yes ma'am, thank you please, you know, that kind of stuff. But they're not really humble, they're cocky. And you know, it's not even about being self-assured, it's about being cocky. And so I've taught my kids to always remain humble you know, don't, don't think you're better than the next person. Don't ever think that. Don't ever think that because there's always somebody that you can bless and then in turn somebody else can turn around and bless you. And if you stay grateful in life, then you won't be unhappy. You know, uh, when you see unhappy people, most of the time they're ungrateful. You know, I'm, I'm not talking about people who have mental problems. I'm talking about just people on a whole that, you know, they're unhappy, they're ungrateful. It kind of goes hand in hand. And um, if you stay grateful for every little thing that you have and every person that's in your life and you show that person that you really treasure them, then you know, you're gonna be richly blessed. You're gonna be prosperous in every way, shape, and form. So I would say those two things, always remain humble and always be grateful. And I hope as this show grows that I stay grounded in that, that I never lose my humility because you know, the, the quickest way sometimes for somebody to become humble is when you, humi when you humiliate them, right? <laughs> And so, but anyways, I would say that is something that was taught to me, you know, by my grandmother and her two sisters and my mom, because, you know, it's handed down through her too. Um, Obey Danny. My next question comes from Obey Danny, and I think it's a girl. She says, what part of Belize are you from? And share a funny cooking story that happened to you. I'm from Belize City. I was raised in Kings Park, where my mom and dad's house still is. And then I was also raised on Euphrates Avenue, where my grandma's house still is. We still own the property. And uh, Joe, on the other hand, my husband, he was raised in Sand Hill, which is about 17 miles outside of the city on the Northern Highway. And uh, my dad came, uh, he was born in PG and he grew up in Stan Creek and then he came to the city, met my mom and got married and then, you know, we grew up in the city. And a funny story that happened, a cooking story. Well, funny story, Danny. When I first got married to Joe, I wanted to cook fish for him. So I went out and bought this expensive snapper and I came home and I thought I was the thing because I descaled it, I scraped, I cut, I pruned, whatever you're supposed to do to that fish, I did and I fried it and it looked beautiful. And then he opened it up, opened the body up, and he saw that the gills were still inside. And for you guys don't know, the gills is the part that, the internal organ that makes the fish breathe and that's not supposed to be inside when you cook it, so it was gross. Joe just opened the trash and threw it away. So I would say that was a funny moment. At that point, I learned right away to go to the shopkeeper and let him clean the fish for me or to just uh, take the gills out. But he, he showed me how to do that afterwards, so I learned a valuable lesson. 
All right, guys, so the last two questions are kind of the same, and they, one come from BZE, which is the abbreviation for Belize, Belize Blue Morpho, and Duck Duck Gander, and they're both asking about my other YouTube channels. Thank you guys so much for inquiring into those, and I'm gonna try to remember to put them in the um, description when I'm writing my description of the video. Sometimes I forget, but I'm gonna try to keep them in there so you guys will see the other channels. Um, my other two channels, one of them is um, Bear Pantry Talk, and the names are weird because my son Jory picked them. That one's a review channel where I try to re review products, if it's stuff around the kitchen or the household or whatever. And I do throw some random things at that channel too, like, you know, the latest video I put up is how I edit using cutaways, how I'm, how I'm editing the show now with two cameras. So I do put some random things. I'm not really a techie, but I put some random things there, but it's mostly a review channel. The next channel is Babs Bear Talk, Babs Bear Talk and of course Babs my nickname and um, Bear Talk and Jory has to put Bear and everything when he makes my channel for me. Sometimes I want to change the name of that channel which is the vlog one but I think YouTube only allows you to like put your real name. I don't think you can like pick an entirely different name. So it's Babs Bear Talk and Bear Pantry Talk and um, basically I really like the vlog channel because you can have like more noises going on when you're doing a vlog than when you're doing the cooking show. When I'm doing the cooking show, I'm really strict about no noise, no doors opening, no windows, no this, no that, nobody walking in the background because I don't want any distraction for when you guys are trying to learn how to cook. But uh, the other, the vlog, you can kind of goof off at it. So I really like the vlog one. And right now I'm doing a fitness series there where we're doing our weight loss. So if you guys could go check out those two channels, I would greatly appreciate it. And I broke them apart because when you come to the cooking channel, I want you to find cooking. When you go to review, I want you to find review. When you go to the vlog, I want you to find vlog. So thanks so much for asking questions. If you have questions, put it in the um, comment section below so that I can answer it next month for January. And in the meanwhile, you guys have a happy Friday the 13th because this is the day that I'm recording this vlog. I'm going to try to edit it right away and put it up so you guys can see. And basically, stay safe, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to stop by my vlog right here on YouTube. It's called Babs Bear Talk. Please be sure to stop by my review channel right here on YouTube. It's called Bear Pantry Talk.